Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today we start studying the Mark Street. All right, or the multiplexer street. So I write it in short, a Mark tree. All right. Now what do we do with this Mark tree? So let me write it down for you. We have uh, we implement a higher order Mark using a lower order Mark. We do what? We implement a higher order marks using a lower order marks all right so we do what <clears throat> we do this okay and how do we do it so we'll see now we'll see as we go on but why is it called a tree why is it called a marks tree so let me have an example and i draw a structure of a tree all right Okay, so this is the structure of our tree. Uh, this won't be as perfect, but still for the clearance of concept, it can be, it could work, okay? So now, so now have a look at its branches, okay? Have a look at its what? At its branches. So now it's giving a structure of a tree, all right? So each we now if you take each of them as a two cross one max, all right? I, I different colors, all right? So so this is one two cross one max. This is another. This is another. This one is another. Now the output of these two is acting as input to another two cross one max, and the output of these two is acting as an input to another two cross one max, and then the output of these two is acting as an input to another two cross one max. Which means I can say, I can say finally that I have a total inputs, a total first inputs, very first inputs are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So in total I have 8 inputs and I have a very single output. So which means I have designed an 8 cross 1 marks using what? Using 2 cross 1 max, alright, and how many are, how many 2 cross 1 maxes are used? So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now how to design that properly? We see that in the next video. Alright, today we start from a simple example. We design a 4 cross 1 max using 2 cross 1. For example, 4 cross 1 using a 2 cross 1. So how do you do that, okay? So the method is simple, all right? You you know these four are one inputs and the twos are another input. These these are the inputs, all right? So for this you have to know the required inputs, required, and you divide them by the inputs uh, that are available by the available inputs. And what do I mean by this? So let me tell you. I mean that here we have the required inputs are two. And the and the available inputs are, uh, are the required are four and the available are two. So we four, we divide four by two to get a two. To get a two. All right. Now what comes over here? You again divide it by the same required value two. All right. So this two came over here, and you divide it again by the same two again all right and why is this so i'll let you know in a second so now two divided by two is a one now when one comes you stop over there okay now why are we dividing this and what is this telling us all right so we're dividing this to know the total number of multiplexers required so the answer that you get after the division, for example, here we had this 2 and this 1. So which means we require a total of 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 multiplexers, uh, uh, 2 cross 1 multiplexers to make what? To make a 4 cross 1 multiplexer. All right. Now that is the, the number, how many we require. 
in what order now we place it so this is now this division is showing you the order as well this is showing you the order as well and what is that you have to place two multiplexers first and you give its output to a single multiplexer and the output of that multiplexer is your final output so this division actually the required inputs divided by the available inputs tells you the, the total number of multiplexers you need and the order you need to place them in all right now we are designing a four cross one multiplexer using a two cross one all right so uh, so so we require what we require a four cross one so let us draw the the table for four cross one all right so let's say this is s1 this is s naught okay and the output y so if you have a 0 0 i naught is selected you have a 0 1 i 1 is selected you have a 1 0 i 2 is selected and if you have a 1 1 so i 3 is selected all right now how to implement so for that i will need a little space so let me remove uh, this part of it now you know the order and the total number of multiplexers all right so the order was what you needed two to you need to place two first uh, so let's say uh, this is the two these are the two multiplexers first in order and then the output of these two is given to the final third two cross one so these are two cross one okay this is also two cross one and this is also two cross one all right now now over here we have two inputs over here we have two inputs and the inputs of this one these two are from here okay and similarly this one is from here and finally we have the output y okay now what are these so let's say we have this as i naught this as i1 this as i2 and this one as i3 all right now we're done with the inputs we're done with the final output but but a question remains what about these select lines Hmm? What about these select lines? So you know each 2 cross 1 multiplexer has got a single select line. Each of them has a single select line. But now out of these three, which one is S1? Which one is S0? If any two are acting the same or if one of them is not useful. So how do we find that out? We find it out by inspection through the truth table. By inspection, I mean by checking, like this, okay? Let's say, let's say I need, I not at the output. I not at the output, all right? So to get I not at the output, in these two multiplexers, I have to give the select line a zero. Yes, you know that from the basics of multiplexers. So if I give it a zero, okay? So over here, I get an I naught. All right. Now, if you're giving this multiplexer a zero, you have to give this one the same in order. You have to give this one a zero as well. <clears throat> now that's a rule. If you have four multiplexers in the same column, you have to give them all the very same input. So now, if you give this a zero, you have an I two over here. So you have an I naught and I two. Now you not you need to select i naught so you have to give it a what you have to give this multiplexer a zero again to give your final output as i naught okay now all of all these three are zeros and we have s1 and s naught both zeros so we cannot differentiate which one of them is s1 and which one of them is s naught through this example so let's say we go for the second we need i1 let's say so i1 so for i1 if i need i1 so i have to give this multiplexer a one so if i give a one over here i have i1 over here and similarly if i have given one over here so i need to give a one over here as well so if i give one i have i3 over here 
Now I need to select I1 in these two, so I need to give them a 1. I need to give them a 0, sorry. I need to give them a 0 because it's the upper one. So I give it a 0 and finally I have what? I have an I1 at the output. Alright, so is that clear? Now have a look. This is 0 and these two are 1s. So I can say from the truth table that this is the S1 in a uh, line S0 line, sorry, this is the S0 select line and these two both are acting as an S1. Now let's say to remove any confusion I take the I2 also. So let's say I, uh, I have, uh, I need the I2. So I2 is over here. So which means I need to give uh, this multiplexer a 0. Okay, so if I give this a 0, over here I have an I2. And now if I've given a zero over here, so I have to give a zero over here also, which means over here I will have an I naught. Now out of these two, I need this I2, so which means I have to give it a one, all right? And you can see from there that S1 uh, is, S1 is a, a zero, sorry, S1 is one and it's not a zero. So I wrote it wrong, okay? This one is S1. This one is S1, sorry, so the duster I need. This one is S1, and this is S, these are S0. This one is S1, and these both are S0. Uh, in the previous case, I believe we did it wrong. So we have S1 as 0. Yes, we had S1, 0, and we had S0, 1. Yes, sorry, so I mixed that up in the last case. Now, in this case, it's like this. So I myself got confused, so and, and, uh, this is an I2 over here, okay? So well, let's say I have the final case as well to remove your confusion and my confusion as well. So I take the blue color for it. So let's say I need I3. Now if you need I3, you need to give this a 1, all right? So if you've given a 1 over here, you get an I3 over here. So now you also have to give a 1 over here, which means you get an I1 over here. And for these two, now you have to give a 1 to get I3 at the output. So this is I3, which means both of them are one. S1 is one, S0 is one. Now this is the S1, this is the S1, okay? And these two will act as your S0, okay? So that's the simple uh, two cross, uh, that's a simple four cross one multiplexer using a two cross one multiplexer, all right? That's all about this lecture. In the next video we see an eight cross one multiplexer probably using the two cross one, okay? So till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.